The Basin's Real Rock Station, Muttley hanging with you, man. It is a gorgeous uh, afternoon in a little old West Texas. Here he is, Mr. Steve Piercy. Welcome to the show. We got a lot to talk about, a few things. You guys are going to be, uh, you'll be hitting the road, of course, with Rat, but you've got an album right, coming out right. on January 27th. So here in a couple of weeks, you've yeah. got a solo release. Yes, yeah, Smash. Um, we just completed Smash, and it's getting ready for release. It's quite a diverse record. We wanted it that way, down to how we produced it. And, you know, the lyrics are quite different, and, and the ebb and flow, the dark and the light, and, the, you know, everything about it, we wanted it to be as different as possible. But, you know, we did our job. We wrote so much music. You know, Bo Hill mixed mastered one song, and that pretty much set the schematics. Um, he couldn't do the project, so we just jumped into it. But I also wanted to have this record uh, to sound like the EP in Cellar. I wanted a lot of air in there, you know, space, air, time. Uh, I didn't want it convoluted with effects and doublings and triplings. And so it was a direct approach. Uh, we didn't want to squash everything and, and uh, uh, you know, to where it distorted and, and uh, so we left it. We left it open to where the louder you play it, the more you hear. Um, instead of playing through little boxes, little headphones, and speakers on computer. Right. You know what's really good? It's good to see you guys still making records. You still out doing the thing. And do you did you think that you'd be after all this time? You still be making music? Music is just to me. It's it, sometimes it's so easy. I mean, I have hundreds of songs that have yet to be heard the light of day. Some that are just music. Uh, some that are just me singing. But then there's a bunch of whole songs, songs we've never released. It's just part of my process. I'm not a per- Pavarotti over here singer guy. I yell at people, right? Right. This what happens. I have an extinct uh distinct voice. And no matter what I do, people are going to go, oh, who is that? Dave Mustaine or Stephen Piercy or Alice <laughs> Cooper, I don't know. Right. Uh, it's a compliment, but no, it's just the way it is. But I just like to write. I just like music. I'll be, I would be doing it even if I was out of it. I don't plan on doing this for the rest of my life. I'll give it another few years and maybe just say, you know, I'm going to just get me a guitar and live somewhere and just play on a porch or something, you know. I don't know. You know, I, I have other interests. You know, I like sponsoring race cars. I like creating things. I like writing songs for commercial movie, TV. I like doing other things. It can't be just this 24 hours a day. Look, I'm happiest when I can walk my dog a few times a day. You know? <laughs> no, I'm with you. We just, yeah, we just walk down the street and take control, and, and it's, it's like there's it's just empty. It's it's a perfect thing, you know. Instead of worrying about, okay, get this call. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. Well, I don't have to do anything really. <laughs> it's what I want to do, and what I want to do still is be creative. I still like to write. I can write a song a day every day. That's that's not difficult for me. Some could be huge, uh, inevitably. Some are just songs, and. But most of the time, my songs end up on my record. It depends. But, the, you know, the business has changed, and, and I feel more for the new bands than guys like us who have sold millions of records because these new bands will never never see that. That's why I always important. No. Like, if you love a band, go see them, go to their website, buy their CD. You know what I mean? Support mm-hmm. that band in any way that, that you can so you one day sure. go, whatever happened to those guys? Well... Whatever happened to those guys was that, you know, the fans didn't do maybe everything that could have been done because it's so tough yeah. in the industry. Mm-hmm. Hey, I still support, you know, Zeppelins and Priest. Sure. And I mean, except I'm in a different place. I get to jam with these guys sometimes, you know, Alford, Boris to call it, some of these bands that I never would have thought in my life, you know, let alone meeting them, but jamming with them on stage. I mean, it's incredible in itself. I mean, that that can, you know, that can make my whole year. You bring that up. Who have you shared this stage with, just right off the top of your head, who have you shared that, that you said, at least to yourself, like, I really can't believe sure. I'm doing this. 
Well, not just my peers like Motley sure. and sure. these guys. And that. I'm talking about like yeah. you know, uh, you know, Rob Halford, uh, um, you know, Blue Oyster Cult. Um, uh, top of my head, let's see. Uh, God, there's probably a few other, you know. And then opening, sh- doing shows at like Aerosmith and right and. Some of these other band, Van Halen, we just did our first show with them, and, and I've known them forever. So it, it, it's, it's interesting, you know. Such a big part of your life. Yeah. That's why our audience is still there, and they still want to hear what we do. And I mean, Alice Cooper, I've jammed. I mean, it, it's crazy, some of these people. And, and then some new guys, you know, and working with them and courting and it's just, you know, some of it's just family from our genre. Sure. You know, respect, respected family musicians. And, uh, you know, when I do my solo shows, sometimes Juan will fly out and jam with me. And, you know, things like that are more important sometimes. And then when you do the real thing, then people get that and you're more comfortable. Because, you know, what people sometimes don't understand is how we may be at a certain age we are, but mentality and, and physically <laughs> we're probably, like, right. twice as old. <laughs> 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 right. The only thing keeps us young is doing what we do, yep. you know. And, and you know, see, at the end of the day, I just might go, you know what, I'm going to go try, I'm going to go race some cars now, <laughs> you know. And it does allow us to take a year or two or three off, especially if we have somebody who's a pain in the ass in the band. It's like, right. you know. Uh, and you guys, you guys have had more than your share, and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> yeah, and that's, thank God that's coming to a head. It's thank not God. even worth talking about, you know. No, and, I wasn't even, but, I wasn't even going, I, I, you know, I hate, you know, I'm not, a, yeah. I'm not the inquirer. I, I don't care. I'm talking to you and that's that. That'll do what it needs to do. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's something that just, you know, it, it needed to go away and, you know, for somebody to, I, I will say for somebody to try, try and change the course of history. <laughs> When they didn't, right. when they didn't write a note, is pretty <laughs> foolish in itself. Yeah, you know? it's just dumb. I don't, I don't get it. it. We've seen it a but, zillion times. It happens, but at least yeah. it's it's it, it. You know, as all things do, they work themselves out, and life goes on. <laughs> David Piercy, man. Of course, we all know him from Rat. He's got a new album coming out uh, January twenty seventh. Uh, check it out online at stephen piercy dot com. All the tour dates, everything you need to know. God, I hope you get close, mm-hmm. man. I know you're doing some California, some mid, uh, Midwest stuff, and 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 I know yeah. there's some festivals with Rat that that are kind of placed in there. But primarily, you're out uh, doing this album. Uh, look forward to the new single, which should uh, be hitting like soon. I think you're making a, Real a video. Right? Yeah, the video single for uh, Ten Miles Wide, which is going to be pretty crazy. We start that next week, so it's going to be. It, it's all good. This is probably the most entertaining fun record we've done a lot of work but we were so happy when it was done and to be able to sit i haven't really listened to it in a while because when i do it just takes me to this crazy place and and it's not even reminiscent you can't even reminisce on it now because nobody's heard it so when that time comes it'll be i'll maybe listen to it again here and there but we're very happy with it. So, and we'll be playing it live. We'll be playing a bunch of songs live off of it too. You got to check out the new album when it comes in stores, folks. January twenty seventh. Um, it is called Smash. If you want to find out more, go to mm-hmm. Stephen Piercy dot com and check it out. And you've got uh, what is this M three? The big M three shows, I think, right? That are, that are- yeah, we're headlining uh, one of those nights there. M three and and there's a couple on the books. I think Rocklahoma and then something else and right. the. Show you know, it, it, it's uh, it takes us all getting together to decide what we're going to do. Yeah. It has to be right. Because yeah, this is like this is again a, a whole new chapter, and yep. hopefully, we'll have a record out sometime started at the end of the year cool. too. So it's going to be busy. But most you know? important, most important, they need to buy your album when it hits stores January twenty seventh. Yeah, they need to buy it right away, or they're going to get smashed. <laughs> like, and all that stuff. Guy on the cover for no reason at all. Forget the halo and the horns, you know. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. It was a pleasure. 